How's it going YouTube? I mentioned in one of my old videos that I've been having a few problems with a van. I went away down to Cornwall and on the way back it had a few problems overheating, we had bubbles coming up in the coolant and I ended up getting it recovered back. What it was doing for a few weeks before that was it was pressurising the coolant but it was getting too close to me going away to be able to do anything about it so I was hoping it was going to last for a week. It kind of did and it kind of didn't. It was on the way back when it went so it's not the end of the world. I've got a video somewhere on my phone, I'll see if I can dig it out so you can see what it was doing. It was literally bubbling up in the coolant, even when it was cold. It was looking like it was boiling over, but it wasn't. It was just bubbling gases up through it. So as you can see, we've got a load of bits in here. I've been stripping things down so we can have a look what's wrong. I've not done it as a how-to because I'm literally using a bit of this and just generally unbolting things, trying to make it up as I go along. So I don't know how to do it myself, so I'm not gonna do a how-to video. But as you can see down here, I've got the head off. How I first started was I took the water pump out first because I thought, well, I was hoping that maybe the water pump, because they, they have a problem sometimes where, where the impeller spins on the shaft and it, it doesn't pump the water around. And that gives the same effect of the, the coolant bubbling up. It wasn't that because last year I had a new cam belt water pump and everything else on there. So I ended up having to take the head off. Everything looks nice here. This is this is all looking all right. Just needs a little bit of a clean up. We've had a little bit of an oil leak down here, which is I'm assuming it's from from this. I've I've got a new gasket for this to go on, so hopefully that should stop that oil leak as well. So the problem is on the head. Let's go and have a look. Now looking at the head gasket, there's there's no damage at all. It's actually it's quite decent. So I was assuming there'd be some damage between one of the waterways and a and a piston. But this this actually doesn't look too bad so that only leaves us the head really looking at the head same again to the naked eye it looks half decent just needs a bit of cleaning up so if we put this straight edge on there you can instantly see the problem i'm not sure if you guys can see that properly but in the middle there we've got light coming through it's literally it's bowing from the edges in the middle and if i go across ways it's doing exactly the same thing. In the middle, there's light coming through. What I was going to do is I was going to strip it down and get this one skimmed, but I changed my mind and I've got something else. I've got a refurbished head delivered. This one's had all the valves taken out. It's had uh, them reseated. It's had new stem seals on it. So all this, all this bit's been redone. This has been skimmed. It's all been cleaned up and it looks nice. If I stick the straight edge across this one, this one's completely different. It's nice and closed up everywhere, nice and flat and straight. The same going across ways. This is, you can tell the difference instantly. Right, and in here what I've got is I've got a new head gasket. I've got some uprated head bolts. These are PD150 bolts. I've got a new gasket for the cam cover, just in case that was leaking. I've got a new gasket for that. Uh, tandem pump which I was showing you earlier and some new bolts for the cams because to hold the cam down they're stretch bolts these are obviously stretch bolts as well for the head these are all from dark side developments these specialize in tuning diesel engines so these are highly recommended these bolts are popular upgrade because obviously mine's mapped as well so it should stop the head lifting again in the future hopefully and decent quality head gasket I believe this is OEM Right, so what I need to do on this head is transfer everything across from this one. We've got the injectors down there, the glow plugs around the back as well, and the cam. I've got to transfer all this across, stick it on that one, and then we can put it back together. Right, there we are, that's all built up. I've changed the bolts and changed the seals where necessary, everything's all set up nice. That's all ready to go back on now. I've set it up into TDC, I've put a, a little drill bit in the hole just to hold the cam in position. That's all ready. Right, next job I've got to get that auxiliary pulley off and I've got to set up the crank pulley into TDC before I can put this head back on. And hopefully we can give this a quick clean up and get the head back on. Right then, that's the head on and torque down. I've got the cam belt back on. I'm gonna build the rest of it up and let's see if it runs, shall we? And like I said, I've not changed the cam belt or the tensioner for a new one or the water pump because all those are all new. They've only done a couple of thousand miles at the most, so they're all going back on. All right, here we are, back together. Fresh coolant in, fresh oil, everything's built up. 
ready to start. Hopefully, it'll start. So let's have a look. All right, there we are. Took a bit of doing because obviously the fuel lines were needed bleeding through again. Where are we going? I'll leave it running, let it get to temperature so we can bleed this water through. I've got the heaters on. But I'll leave it running for a bit. And then we'll check the oil, keep an eye on the water, leave the top off until it's bled through. All right, so I've been a good drive in it now. I've topped up the water again, now all the air's come out of the system, everything seems to be working fine, it's good. I changed a couple other bits as well while I was at it. I found I've been scrubbing tyres, so I've lifted the suspension up about 40 millimetres. Hang on. Now you can see a bit better. I've, I've lifted the suspension up about 40 millimetres front and rear. It doesn't look like it, it still looks quite low, but I had a bit too much camber on it because it was sat so low and it was scrubbing the inside of the tyres. So I've been out, I've fitted some new rear tyres because they was worn out. I've given it a clean and we're all ready to go again. I know that weren't really a video where you'd learn much because I didn't do a how-to, I'm literally I'm making it up as I go along, so. But it all seemed to work out fine in the end, everything's all right. It weren't too much of a bad job, actually, it was quite easy. Next thing is I need to get to captain's seats and pick up my seats. We'll have a trip out there and have a meet George and the team, and we'll have a look around the factory at what they do. So I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Subscribe if you've not subscribed already. See you later. Cheers.